Hey Olson, welcome to Finnish Black Metal. This one is a new band from Finland called Samas Equinox and this is called Tuli Kehrat, which roughly translates something like uh, fire circle, circles of fire, something in that direction. Uh, now this is a Digiback version, CD version that is, by the album that was released on LP by Signal Rex and this CD version is out here by Breath of Pestilence uh, delivered to me by the band I guess I'm not actually sure which, whether this was coming from the label or the band doesn't really matter what matters here that it is for review and we can talk about it I can talk about it at least um, anyway here's this nice looking um, digiback with some uh, band photo some classic uh, painting inside and once again the cover and backside of the Digipack release. Um, only six tracks which then again translates to roughly 32 minutes of Finnish black metal. Pretty plain silver disc here and inside we'll have this booklet which uh, with a sigil of sorts and the information sheet on the back side of the booklet which tells you a little bit of the painting as well as the lineup and recording information and inside we'll have these lyrics in a very readable font for a change I could say uh, I think uh, what really annoys me sometimes when, that when I want to read the lyrics which doesn't really happen with all the albums is that sometimes bands just go all the way way too mystic way too graphic in weird ways and it's then totally unreadable which kind of like makes the whole point of uh, releasing those lyrics in the first place rather useless well luckily it's not that with this case and here we have the band's metal archive site so you'll see that this is the first album and only a couple of smaller releases before that 2016 being the first demo year and since that the band has been creating more music now what is this what makes interesting is that while this lineup information is not up to date, given that there's five members mentioned, if I checked out correctly, is that the only three are mentioned here. But what is interesting, in my opinion, is that lots of these bands are still out there and these band members have a connection to various bands. For example, the I don't know if there's an official scene name for the, the certain scene, but bands like Blood Red Fog, which seems to be a case of a couple of members, also Verge... Charnel Winds, Saturnian, Mist, Funeral Bell, they're more or less certain kind of a same scene, or at least that's the understanding I have come to over the years because of these um, band members overlapping in various projects. Now, um, Summer's Equinox music is kind of a very traditional uh, second wave black metal. The sound is a little bit mushy, but not in a bad way. Actually, it reminds me of earlier Dark Throne work, so it's not really hi fi, it's kind of a lo fi but not too dirty, not too muddy, actually quite um, enjoyable in the terms of this music. And those raspy vocals, while they're also quite ordinary in style, I mean, they very well fit the music here. They're kind of taking you back to the 1990s in so many ways. But also this album to me feels like uh, it's a little bit a timeless release. You can really put it, it's like it's 2020. It could be as well some 2005. 1997 or something like that, which is always a good sign in my opinion. Now overall this 32 minutes of an album is very well balanced. There are no weak tracks as such and even though the songs could be a lot catchier and more memorable, the overall feeling is that this is actually enjoyable album. Not album of the year material I'm afraid to say, but still very very solid and could release. Basically there's nothing extra that is to kind of a create, you know, weird feeling or anything like that. But there are like um, some details which then again garnish the whole uh, deal here. So um, in my opinion, definitely worth checking out. Interesting release uh, just came out in 28th of September. So it's very, very fresh. So in case you just happen to be interested in the band, go check out the band's Bandcamp site. You can buy the digital files from there, or then you can just go for physical format, LP and CD, respectively. With this information, check it out. And of course, I hope you will enjoy it.
Should you have questions or opinions, put them on the comments box below and I'll get back to you. Take care. Bye-bye.